We often associate renewable energy technologies with new built houses, but today we meet Michael Donnelly, who has incorporated the installation of a wood pellet boiler into the restoration of a historic cottage in Castle Wellen. So what we have here is a 20 kilowatt wood pellet burner. Um, it runs on wood pellets from Balkas, um, which is down in Fermanagh. So the wood chips that are actually come from forests is the byproduct of forestry and timber operations around Northern Ireland. So the wood pellets arrive uh, in a bulk lorry, so I get normally three tonnes delivered at a time. So the lorry pulls up on the road outside and he'll have a 15 metre hose that comes down through the garage door. It connects up to this pipe here and the pellets get blown um, from this pipe in bulk um, into this storage unit here. So this silo holds up to four tonnes of pellets and that generally will last me about six to eight months depending on what time of year they go in. So there's a heavier fuel usage time during the middle of winter obviously. The pellets then fall in a V-shape inside the, the units down to a place where they're picked up by a screw auger. So the auger takes them up and drops them into the pipe here, down into a burner. And the burner here just automatically feeds them into the boiler itself. Um, so an electric element lights up the pellets whenever the boiler needs to get going and blows a flame into the burner and that's where the, the water gets heated. So the water comes in from the house here through the pipes down below here. And the cold water goes in and circulates around the burner as soon as the flame is going and that's generally what heats up. As soon as the water is heated, it gets stored into the tank at the back here and that's called a buffer tank. So that really is what the pellet burner is doing, it's keeping the water inside that buffer tank warm. And that buffer tank holds 500 litres and that provides me with all the hot water I need inside the house, both for the domestic hot water and for the heating. So the water goes back through one of the other pipes here, going through the wall and takes it up into the house where there's another smaller storage tank in the house and that's essentially the domestic hot water supply. I installed the wood pellet burner two years ago and at that time I had a choice to make. Um, I had a solid fuel back burner in the house so I was taking that out to replace it with some other technology. So the choices ahead of me were to do it with oil to, or to do it with uh, wood pellets and at the time I chose wood pellets uh, because there was a grant available and because in time I knew that oil prices were at a risk of going up and that the wood pellets wouldn't and that there was a good supply of wood pellets available in Ireland at that time. So I took the grant and I allowed myself to be one of the first people to get a wood pellet burner installed in the local area. There are a few things that I would advise people to consider before they put in a wood pellet burner. And the first is where they're going to locate it. In my case, the wood pellet burner is in the garage, which is about 25 metres from the house. And that created a complication whenever I was installing it to actually get the water from the burner up to the house. So the closer you can get it to your house, the better. The second is the storage. And obviously you're going to need space for up to three to four tonnes of storage of pellets which is about six cubic meters, which is a good chunk out of any garage or store that you have. So be sure to make sure that you have space for uh, storing that many pellets, either indoors or if it's outdoors, it has to be in a waterproof container. This technology, there was not a lot of it around, and that means that there's a number of different experts who you're asking to help you get it installed, from electricians to plumbers, to people who know about the wood pellets themselves, so the supply of the fuel and these things have to come together quite well. If there's a, a gap between anybody in, who knows about those different factors, that can leave you for a few days, perhaps waiting to find the right expert to come and help you get it uh, installed. Another thing to consider is the cleaning or the maintenance of the burner itself, because when the wood pellets burn, they create a little bit of ash. So maybe about half a percent of what goes in comes out as ash. Um, and that has to be cleaned out on a regular basis. Now during the winter time, that might be twice a month, during the summer, it's maybe once every six weeks. Um, now that ash, whenever it comes out, it is pure potash. There's absolutely no additives in it, no chemicals in it, so it can go straight onto your garden as a, a very effective fertilizer. Another benefit right now is uh, the cost, because they are working out about 40% cheaper than oil, um, and that's a good cost saving for me. So, whilst renewable energy may seem like a modern idea, it can be incorporated just as successfully into both old and new-built houses.